Hello, this is Dr. Pete, and just got a call from a student talking about APA and how everyone does it different. And of course, I've talked about that, that you know, everyone's got their way of doing it, and of course, people use it as an excuse, and that's fine. There's to a point that's acceptable. But the key here is what can you do that's more objective and can help you out? So there's a program called Perla. When I was going through my doctorate program, uh, I, I typed a lot. I'm very quick at typing. And even though I type fast, I have a mechanical keyboard, I got a gaming nerd keyboard, and this thing can keep up with me clickety-clack all day long, I still resisted the fact that there are programs out there that could help me. And so finally this teacher said, look, it's not about how fast you can do. These things are just, they make uh, the cover page, the running headers, they organize, they can do citations, build your references, they can build a super database. And I was, I said, well, what's this program? And the lady said, it's, a, it's called Perla, P-E-R-R-L-A. And I'm, I'll put that website link here. Now, what's really neat about this program, and I'm sure there's other ones out there. I don't get paid to promote it. I don't get paid like royalties and kickbacks and things like that, nor does anyone, nor do any of the schools that I teach for get money. But I do promote it. I think Microsoft's got one, but I can only speak to Perla. I mean, there's editing tools. There's how to cite tools, how to uh, review for grammar. I think there's one tool now on that. It used to be a lot more simple. But it also does the margins, the running headers, page numbers, all these things that it would take a lot of work to do on your own, but it's very easy with Perla. Uh, I know it used to be buy a lifetime subscription for like $40, and people complained about that. Now I think it's $40, $50 a year. But having said that, if you're going to be in a you know, bachelor's for four years, maybe a graduate of six years, that's a pretty good investment if it saves you a lot of time. So that's my big deal is time. Um, you know, you only got so much of it. You want to spend time with family and friends, maybe go out and, you know, have a good time, go out and do some other things. Uh, I do a lot of volunteer work, especially for veterans and, you know, Kentucky Boy State. So, you know, I want to help youth and seniors and veterans and spend time with my family so that Perlo program can really speed those things up. Uh, one of the neatest features I tell people is it can make a reference sheet for you on each paper but also a super database or a super reference. Like it, it maintains all of them. So what's really cool is when you're done with it, like I would tell people, like say you do four years of undergraduate, well, look at the, the day you start, which there was zero, then go back and look at all the references and you'll see literally hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of them, and that's pretty cool. Uh, also, you can look at the start of, first papers you ever made and then also the last papers and see the world of a difference in writing quality. Yeah, just in a few years, you'll see, just in a year, you'll see that. Uh, one of the neat things too is our one good idea I always try to tell students is uh, number your your files like uh, 2016, maybe the month or but at least a year. And then if you have a folder for that class, you know specifically the year and the name of the class, then inside there you would say like Word document 2016 managing diversity class, you know, assignment, whatever, you know, it, that makes it so much easier to find stuff and it's less confusing. So it's just some things to do there. But Perla does a lot of these things like in the sense of uh, file naming, uh, how do you uh, reference, how do you reference correctly. Uh, if you don't use APA, you can use other like MLA, Turabian, has a lot of different features. So I do, uh, this is something I pitched, this is something a student asked for this morning and I want to make sure that students know about this and really anybody. If you just do any type of writing at all, it's not a bad program to use. Uh, good luck and see you around.